Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to go over with you how to properly utilize my Genesis Exotics Premium Formulated Bug Rub as one of the best insect gut loaders on the market. So the, gut, the bug rub can be used in two different ways. It can be used dry or wet. Here's the dry form. When you use dry form, you want to make sure you use your insect gel crystals with it so they can stay hydrated. I like to use my wet form, which will last 36 hours after it's constituted. From there, it needs to be discarded. And it can be done with a couple simple steps. So the first step is we have our bug rub and we have warm or hot water. I prefer hot. You always want to use equal portions of each. I like to do a quarter of a cup of each, which makes a pretty good amount, uh, which is enough for me. But some people like to might want to use a little bit more. Important thing is if you're using a half a cup of bug rub, use a half a cup of water. If you're using a quarter of a cup of bug rub, use a quarter of a cup of water. So to use it, take the bug rub, you dump it into a mixing container, like so. Okay? Get it all out there. You dump the bug, you, and, and then you get your water, and you put it right on here. You stir it together. You want to make sure that is all that it is completely stirred stirred evenly. From there, you're gonna to want to let it sit for a couple minutes. After it's completed, got one already made here. It turns into this play-doh. Best thing about it, doesn't stick to your hands. You can mold it into any shape that you want. It retains its moisture for 36 hours without drying out. Not only does it do all these fantastic things, it is also formulated to be one of the best gut loaders on the market. Very, very high in, uh, in, in beta carotene, as well as vitamin A, C, D, and E. Um, vitamin A is the primary driver of homeostasis for almost all reptiles and amphibians, beta carotene being uh, the main source of carotenoid, which is how they break down the vitamin A into a viable vitamin. Um, so this it not only has a lot of that, but it's also a complete balanced diet and nutrition for crickets, roaches, and isopods. Some people like to use it with their springtails, but I like my springtail grub better because it's more catered towards their dietary requirements where the bug grub with the species that I'm dealing with requires some things a little bit different. So another thing I like to use about the bug grub is you can mold it into any shape you want. So what I like to do, I like to put it into little tiny pieces like this you can see here. What these do, they create feeding stations. You can put them in the front of your tank, the crickets, the springtails, the isopods, the fruit flies will all cover this piece and eat it. And then your frogs or, your, or whatever it is you're using walks right up to it and eats it. This is a great way to raise and deal with weaker hatchlings. It's also a good way to make sure that your little ones are getting as much as they can so they don't have to use as much energy to hunt. So that's another thing that you can use to utilize the bug rub. Again, our bug rub is, is available in two pounds, four pounds, five, uh, uh, five gallon bags or a five gallon bucket, um, all with cheap, affordable shipping and only available at genesisexotics.com. Okay, as you can see here, we have a ton of crickets that are starting to swarm the moist bug rub. So not only does this replace your gel water, it also works with gut loading your insects while they're staying hydrated while they're eating. You want to discard the bug rub within 36 hours if you're using the moist form. Um, so that way it doesn't start growing bad microbials since it is made of whole organic nutri nutritional uh, lettuces as well as other types of gut loading materials. If you're using the dry form, you can leave it in there as long as necessary until it is all used up. You can see all the crickets in here swarming all over it. This bug rub will be gone in about 24 hours.